Assam makes one of the best teas, of course, in the world. It's known that for that. And uh, but in that also, even though tea grows right through the length of Assam from east to west, the quality is determined. One is by the soil, and secondly by the weather. In Assam, we we say the north bank and the south bank because the Brahmaputra divides the whole state into two. So the north of the Brahmaputra is called north bank, and south of the Brahmaputra is called south bank. Upper Assam is known for teas with a lot of body and color, reddish color, and very prolific, very very high yielding gardens here because the rainfall is much more here this side. Here, then as you come down lower. You have Sipsagar, uh, here is Jorhat, Golaghat. These are, this is the quality belt. All the best trees of Assam are in this area. The shade tree is very important aspect in Assam conditions. See, you have to have an ambient temperature maintained in the tea plantations. So there is a shade tree in every 35 feet apart so that the sunlight sh should not come directly to the tea leaves. It should be partial sunlight partial light, it's like that type. We also have to see the temperatures because of global warming, the temperature and the humidity is increasing. After 32 degrees Celsius, that photosynthesis in the plant doesn't take place. Uh, Assam largely is a CTC producing region and largely would cater to domestic audience or domestic consumer. We concentrate here on our chai teas and some of the very high priced uh, orthodox teas, which are again preferred globally in, in, in other parts of the world. Tea of Assam, as I said, it's stronger. It'll be like this. And for your comparison, a Darjeeling tea would look like this. It'll have much more flavor. But the Assam tea would look like this. It, it's stronger than this. Sometimes the Assam teas, you know, Assam, what we call the golden tips, you know, it looks very golden. Just the, from the bud part, you get a tip. So very, very tippy golden Assam teas can be more expensive than Darjeeling, can sell at a very, very high price. So like the Assams that we are producing, uh, the high quality Assams, uh, within India, the Western India is able to pay much higher prices if they like the tea. So we are designing the product which would suit them so that we can get into the price bracket. So whatever we are making, we want to reach it to the market where we are up there in the value chain. In Assam, tea grows for nine months. December, it tapers out. In the cold weather, it doesn't grow. So January, February, there's no production. And in March, it just starts off. When it's the first from March to about the middle of May, that's called the first blush. That's the first time what is come. And then is the second blush. In Assam, when in the Udalguri district, what we saw was they were plucking 20 to 22 times a year. Last year, they started plucking 33 times. I mean, it's, you know, it's a big, big difference. difference. And so they're they, between the plucking, they, which was 17, 18 days, it's now down to six days, right? So they're plucking 33 times as a pot. What does it mean? It means that, you know, you're getting much finer leaf naturally, double the price. And so the huge benefit to them is that from the same acreage, they're getting substantially higher, two to three times more than what they got.